Alright, before the video begins, I have a couple things to say. Firstly, this is my first time doing a video that isn't just a short clip, so don't expect the quality to be amazing. Secondly, I don't have footage of Modern Warfare 3, because I don't know it, and I've only watched a playthrough of it. Lastly, if you enjoy Modern Warfare 3, then that's cool. This campaign looks somewhat fun if you can get past the story. With that out of the way, please enjoy the video. Indie games are on a rampage at the moment. Day of the Dyer won a Steam Award, and Lethal Company has sold about 10 million copies, outselling Modern Warfare 3. It's safe to say that game standards have been fully set. Make a fun game. This video will be comparing AAA games like, Mar like Modern Warfare 3's campaign to big hit Lethal Company and smaller hit Shotgun King The Final Checkmate, and how indie games are more enjoyable than recent AAA games. Real quick, let's talk about developers. How many work on a game and how hard they work. Lethal Company was made by one person with, as far as I know, no set release date. Modern Warfare 3 was worked on by over 3,000 people backed by a billion dollar company that probably set an unrealistic deadline for the developers, forcing them to crunch and make a bad game. Shotgun King is a wonderful game developed by three people and was made in one month. Modern Warfare 3 suffers from a painful remake of a good story and the fact that it's 70 bucks. Modern Warfare has regular grunts, armored enemies, and Mission of Thrones. There's no variety, and while most COD games have been similar to that style, they made up for it through creative maps and a, and a diverse set of tools to work with. Modern Warfare 3 is a game made by a AAA studio, priced like a AAA game, and yet it sucks. Now, let's look at Lethal Company, a game where the loop is smashing your head against a wall and seeing how big the den is. The game is made of mostly free sound effects and Unity Store assets with simple yet beautiful graphics. The enemy variety is plentiful, with many strategies to counter and kill the monsters. Lethal Company gives you shovels and other tools to play around with, like extension ladders you can drop on your friends' heads to kill them, and stun guns that are more likely to target your crewmate than the Bracken. Lethal Company is a funny game. Every death and situation was hilarious to witness. You just yelled, screw you to a mimic you murdered, and suddenly you hear a coil head replace your friend's skull. Everything. Monster, mine, turret, quick jumps across the bridge are perfectly manufactured by Zekers to be fun, funny, and worth the money you paid. Modern Warfare 3 doesn't deliver on any of these things. Sure, you don't need the funny, but you do need the fun, and you need the game to be worth its cost. Modern Warfare has great, realistic graphics and amazing gunplay, but lacks a variety of tools and enemies to work with, unlike Lethal Company. Lethal Company has randomly generated maps, the fun part of throwing your head against the wall, while Modern Warfare has Warzone style missions with generic map number 94. Lethal Company is fun, Modern Warfare 3 feels like every other recent COD game, and that is just fun. It's time for the game I absolutely love, Shotgun King The Final Checkmate. You've probably never heard of this game, but let me say that it is an amazing game. Shotgun King is a game where you are the black team. All the slaves have left you due to your abusive rule over your teammate. And it's up to you to take it back with only you and your trusty shotgun. You must use your knowledge of chess and your victim's soul to escape checkmate. Then, once you kill the opposing white king, you have to pick your strengths and weaknesses. Two pairs of cards are shown, with a modifier to you and a modifier to the white side. It's a pick your potion situation. The game is chaotic, with many ways to accidentally die or be put in a checkmate, along with the many shotguns and cards forcing you to mold your strategy as you go making a new playthrough interesting and different every time. Modern Warfare 3 has limited tools and little variety in its gameplay. Shotgun King with its many types of shotguns and different cards intensely changed the game, while Modern Warfare 3 is just, do you want to be up close and not use much aim, or go long and take enemies out one by one with a silent sniper bullet? Or do you want to use the silenced crossbow? Modern Warfare 3 offers little replayability. You may have the V for Makarov mission or the AC-130 mission you'll want to replay, but would you rather play a campaign with a 3 hour runtime or a game that would take multiple days to, to complete? Modern Warfare 3 lacks the compassion of previous COD games, but these indie devs pour their blood, sweat, and love into these games to make them amazing. Now to answer the question of this video. Why are the quality of indie games better than AAA games? It's simple, really. AAA games are funded by billion dollar companies that expect their devs to make a good and fun game all within a short deadline because they want money. Indie devs are neither forced to adhere to strict deadlines or be motivated by money. 
These are evident by the game's cheap price and often long breaks in between releasing games. In short, indie devs have freedom, big studio devs do not. And that's a real shame. If you enjoyed this video, then thank you. It's my first time trying this, and I'm sure its quality is poor, but I'm happy you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, all that stuff. Really, it would mean a lot to me. Until next time.